Oh, good morning. It is Monday morning. It's quarter to twelve. I've been here a while already. I've been here since ten. I've been wrapping orders for the last two hours and also chit chatting to people on TikTok. Um, I've done the orders, they're all down here. I'm just waiting for Sean to reply on one. Fortunately, Sean, I don't have the red, I've only got purple. So if you want to let me know if that's acceptable, let me know and I will post it out. Um, next job is I want to recap my adverts. I have adverts on Google and Facebook for my main website and I want to look at them and check that they're sort of focusing people on the right products you know what products are probably better for Christmas and that kind of thing so I want to give them a quick check over uh, for breakfast today I have had my favorite yogurt with protein powder in with some uh, Cadbury's chocolate grated on the top not very much just a bit uh, for lunch I'm not sure I've got noodles in the back but I'm really hungry after the noodles obviously the bakery next door um, I don't really know what I'm having for lunch yet um, but we're not quite at lunch time um, what else can I tell you I think that's about it lots of dreams last night but no bad ones um, but my head is a little bit fuzzy today so I've been having a look at my adverts that are set up I've scrapped the ones on Facebook that do Facebook and Instagram because it makes absolutely no sense I don't know if it's working or not so rather than doing it badly I've just deleted the whole thing um, I've still got adverts that run from my Shopify onto Google that seems to be working okay uh, and it just kind of shows the products and stuff at the top also on the merch shelf of YouTube that seems to be working but to create an advert that goes onto Facebook and um, Instagram I'm gonna have to start from scratch uh, the best way seems to be a boosted post or a boosted reel but all my reels currently have links to products on them and I can't use those to boost them so I'm gonna have to make some new reels to then use for adverts on Instagram and Facebook I think uh, but it's all very complicated and what I find is the wording is different on every format so the wording from Facebook and Instagram to then Google to then whatever platform it is the wording the way it explains the adverts is so different it can be very very confusing because on Facebook and Instagram they've got assets I don't know what that is and there's so many words I don't know what they are it just seems so very complicated for any normal person to be able to do it, uh, pff, do they make it this complicated on purpose I kind of think that they do uh, so if anyone knows how to do adverts on Facebook and Instagram um, ideally Instagram that's what I'm trying to focus on um, then please let me know but I'm gonna have to make some more adverts for them the ones that seem to get the most views are oh excuse me uh, the uh, I'm packing an order kind of clip so I might have to wait until I next pack an order I should have done that this morning when I packed them but I didn't so that seems to be the best option ah uh, I'm just trying to promote the shop and promote the online shop as best I can but it's uh it's hard going it really is it just melts my brain it's like why is everything so complicated now and I've been doing this for years I've been running businesses for 10 years but these adverts are so confusing it's like where on earth do you start how how do you go about doing these ads now so they actually work and you can see that's the other issue I've come up with see the advert that's going out it, it, that's really hard to do as well it's like what button am I pressing so I can see the advert that people are gonna see oh because I like those ones on Facebook where it's like a, a, a chunk of pictures so you get uh, like Timu or whatever here's your ad products and you can click on it and go straight onto the website and sort it 
but those are the most complicated to set up so ah, I've just had the most lovely lady come into the shop she's my second customer of the day um, the first one uh, comes in regularly so hi to her she was very stressed out this morning I hope she's feeling a bit better now um, everyone seems to just tell me things when they come in the shop it's lovely I quite like it anyway a second lady came in she's called Elizabeth she said she was 78 years old and my god she looked nothing like 78 I'd have said I'd have put her maybe 60 like 60 years old anyway she was lovely and she was saying I might have a reading in the new year I'm looking for some good news uh, and she bought a couple of stones she took adventurine aventurine for physical health and regeneration and a African bloodstone worry stone which is said to be helpful for your blood and your heart so yeah she took those and she was fantastically glamorous ah oh, bless her right so I've just had a reply from Sean and I'm gonna sort it out here this is two orders but I, there's what I'm confused anyway I'll sort the order out right so I'm home I've had some rice for tea uh, I've got a dog on my head right now he's my new dog hat uh, and because I've got nothing on tonight nothing on as in no teaching or anything because the students I normally have on a Monday have just had their exams so we're having a Monday off uh, I'm gonna watch this Bad Surgeon uh, series uh, there's three episodes so let's have, uh, have a look and I'll let you know what I think so it's quarter to seven now I'm trying to watch Bad Surgeon I've watched the first episode uh, Alfie is <laughs> bringing me his ball squeaking his ball as he does uh, he's ripped up a toy fluff everywhere so I've sorted that and put that in the um, bin anyway so I'm down to the second episode now the first episode was fascinating sort of building the story about the surgeon um, and apparently the episode two is uh, quite a shocker so um, somebody mentioned that to me today on was it Instagram or TikTok I'm not sure anyway we're gonna watch episode two next um, I'm not gonna tell you what happens because obviously if you watch this series then I don't want to spoil it for you I think I'm getting a cold I sound a little bit bummed don't I hopefully not although with the amount of rain that we've had it wouldn't surprise me right episode two let's go so it's quarter past seven now I'm in the middle of episode two and there's one bit that just was like what and it wasn't shocking to me because I already realized early on what kind of a surgeon he was sorry Alf is just having a moment here uh, and it's the mention of a royal incident uh, and that was like the bit that just was like what no so yeah you have to watch this it's fascinating well I've just finished watching the entire thing it's nearly quarter to nine now and my goodness <sighs> it's mind-blowing the web of lies and the end the end the verdict it's like what are you serious I and mean, wow just watch it I think you will learn so much about listening to red flags and listening to your gut and your intuition when things are not right don't let the practical mind take over listen to your gut listen to your intuition when things are wrong when they are wrong and do something about it <sighs> don't let that want for everything to be incredible and that you know it's future to take over because that's not the case right so I'm going to sign off from this vlog um, thank you very much for watching Alf is just outside having a little wee wee I'm going to go and get my pyjamas on uh, and tomorrow is filming day I don't know what I'm filming yet I will do my research in the morning I do have quite a few on my desktop already and I think I am getting a cold a bit, a bit bummed uh, so thank you for watching I hope you found this interesting I do appreciate every single one of you that watches my vlogs 
it does mean quite a lot it just feels like I've got you know I'm not alone let's put it that way uh, so good night and see you in the next one bye loves <laughs> <laughs>